Hello, it is me. I'm a cat, and I have this cool lady who's going to do some shotgunning in this big, scary game where undead claim to fame is that they are kind of lame, but not really lame. Because I got a big shotgun. So, howdy ho, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. I, um... I'm a pretty commando lady. There's a pretty goth lady if you're into that. There's a pretty lady in a dress. So hey, you know, we got all kinds of ladies here. Isn't that neat? Oh man. Yeah, isn't that neat? I, I really enjoy a, a variety of... Um, lady types in my uh, RPG. This is an RPG now. We're role-playing as zombie kill people. I guess I guess I'm kind of role-playing as Horizon Security considering I'm dressed in Horizon Security outfit. I always really liked um like uh uh what do you call hey excuse me excuse me excuse me I always enjoyed, uh, like, the the evil science type of, like, um, zombies, you know, like, Resident Evil and things like that. That's, like, always been my, kind of my, like, my favorite. Well, maybe not, maybe, well, maybe not necessarily my favorite. I do like um, a good uh, evil magic zombie as well. I like being a vampire. Howdy ho. I howdy and I ho. Oh, buy ammo. I am the greatest martial artist that has ever lived. I can jump up and down and do this. I mean, I think I am actually one of the greatest martial artists that ever lived in this video game because I can be a level 25. Berserk. Actually, I wonder how many level 25 Berserkers there are. How, how do you get to be a better uh, martial artist in in uh, this particular video game? I mean, I guess you just play more and then you learn how to parry. I'm not very good at parrying. I just smack and smack and smack and smack and they die. Although, this, this is the thing I always find kind of funny in here. Like, so they're doing, like, all this evil science, right? But then what they're doing here is they're blending it all together so that they can... I think so that they can use it to turn into other things? I think is what's happening there? Or maybe it's just, like, feed. It could just be feed. Man. Maybe maybe it's just like um, they just thought it would be cool to have a big slurry device. I mean, if you want to make a big slurry device of gore and things, I guess you could. Excuse me. Do not say cheat, cheat, cheat. You do not need to say cheat, 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 cheat. We're fine. There we go. Ow. Yay, health. Health is good, and these people have healed me. Therefore, I must protect them. Sometimes, maybe. Well, not all the time. I mean, like you, 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 you can't just you can't just have, like have people just like 
expect you to cover all of their debts, you know? Man, I mean, well, actually, I would totally do that because I am Kami Cat. I am, because I am Kami Cat, I would show up and I would be like, hey, would you like some debt relief? And people would probably be like, uh, yeah, sure. And then, and then I would, um, uh, buy their debt and I would be like, okay, you are now free. Puppy! I mean, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I have been listening to, like, a bunch of stuff uh, from uh, Unlearning Economics and also, like, been looking into more uh, leftist economics to, like, actually... Um... It seems like it would be really inefficient if this is actually how they grow the things, because it's just, like, it seems like they would take a long time. For just for the numbers they have, I guess. Excuse me, get your titties out of my face, please. Ma'am. Not into that. Hey, excuse me. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of things on leftist economics. And it's kind of interesting because, like, especially if you, like, talk about, like, some, like, bread tube, right? Like, a lot of the, 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 the bread tube peoples seem like they mean well, but they often, like, when they start talking about economics, it starts to sound, like, dumber and dumber. Well, well, only if you know some stuff about economics, I guess. A lot of it just sounds like it would make sense on, like, the surface. But, like, the more I've learned about economics... And I don't want to represent under. Do you have to like wait till they get into the zone to kill them? Maybe. Okay, wait, let's see. Okay, that gave me 32, I think. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I, I think I. I don't know. Maybe I am a, a slightly confused, slightly confused about that. But um, it it is very interesting because you'll you'll start to like uh, there's a lot of assumptions, I guess, in like economics, especially like when you're like outside of economics and you start looking into it, and it it gets very interesting to see like um. When you start looking at economic models, there's there's this thing I keep noticing, and uh, I've seen other people mention the same thing, where it's like uh, economic models will just be, will just assume like the craziest shit. They will just assume like that things have to work specific ways for what often just seems like no real reason. They'll just be like, oh no, it has to work this way because basically like. I've decided it works that way, and it's like, well, you know, that's that's fine if it actually does. But when it doesn't, then it's just like your then your model doesn't actually make that much sense. And, and I mean, like the but the amount of models that you start to look at too, where it's like, okay, yeah, no, this is how this should work. But like, if you actually look at the examples, like in real life, you'll realize that they just. But often it's like actually a lot of guesswork, and that sometimes like models that are just like assumed to uh, uh, make sense, like or they'll, although they'll make sense logically. But like when you see them in act or, or like acted in that in the world, you'll see that they just don't really make very much sense, 
or sometimes they just kind of do things where it's just like uh the expected result just does not happen like oh okay so this is the result we would expect considering xyz but um when you start looking at like uh oh i'm third that's fine i mean well not i mean the kills don't really matter that much other than like how much money you get um and there's also like quite a few cases in which like um models will make uh, one of the ones I keep seeing is, like, models making these assumptions about, like, oh, well, uh, there's just always going to be a certain amount of supply and there's always going to be a certain amount of demand for something. Like, supply and demand is one of the easy ones that I th I think most people think they understand. And, like, uh... I have just not had enough money for like uh armor as well as my weapons i guess maybe i should stay closer to the rest of the group so i can get more kills but um you'll there's also like a lot of stuff i i find like when you read economic theory that just doesn't really seem like if you start reading the data it doesn't really seem like it just comes out and it's all very interesting to me um but at the same time i am also not an expert enough to i like actually like sit down and explain a lot of it i think i understand some of it and because i understand some of it it's interesting to me but at the same time like the more i have it explained some things i i go okay that's really intuitive and i really think i get it and then other things I'm like, I, okay, you just explained that to me, but I don't really know if I 100% understand what you're saying. And, and some people are just like really also like way better at explaining it than others, you know, like um, I think unlearning economics is pretty good at taking relatively complex subjects and at least make it so you kind of understand what's supposed to be going on and like why it's going on and things like that. Um... And things like that, I, I think, are... So that that's pretty cool, I think. But there's also sometimes where it's just like... Uh, sometimes I, I still... And he's also recommended a lot of books, which has like kind of helped me learn more about economics and like a uh, kind of like understand like more like lefty economics and also understand more like models of economics and how they're supposed to work. Because I I think there's um what what is it is it the Dunning Kruger effect or like. Uh, is it the, the more ignorant people are, the more they assume they know? Like, there, there's... Where it's like, I, the more I've learned about economics, the more I'm like, okay, I don't know everything, and I certainly... There's certainly lots of areas where I have, like... I would argue... Probably... Pretty decent-sized uh, gaps in my knowledge. But, um... Because... Uh, because I get to learn more and more, uh, I get to know more and more, but I also get to know more and more of like what I don't know. And that, uh, that's, that's really fun to me. It's really fun to me to like learn more about, okay. So like, for, so for instance, like I, I am frequently, uh, found criticizing capitalism or like certain parts of capitalism and certain parts of our, uh, modern system, but you know, it's easy to criticize, you should also maybe try to have like a solution if you can, if you can think of, if you can understand and come to a decent solution. I 
I then I, I think that can generally be very 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 um helpful. Uh, because it's it's also very easy to criticize something, but if you don't have like uh, uh, another solution, if you don't have something that you know can work, or at least like in theory could do uh, a better job than what you're complaining about, then it, it kind of gets to the point of like, well, okay, cool, yes, this is bad, but if you don't have like a solution to the bad, then what's even the point of like talking about it? If it's just man, this is bad, and it's like cool like but you need to you need to like explain to me like okay well what could we do differently what could we do that would be better than what we're doing right now and how how do we uh achieve that goal in a reasonable way and, and of course part of the thing there too is that everybody will start to define what's reasonable or not in like a very different light and some people do have also like different beliefs like I personally find like discussing like certain things with like pure libertarians who just think like the market will work everything out. It just gets kind of difficult because it's like, to me, it's so very obvious that just leaving everything in the market just does not work very well. Or like for a lot of things, it seems like it doesn't really get us. Like, what what are we, what are our end goals here? Like, if our end goals are simply Okay, so how much to, uh, I could totally get the AA twelve. So I'll just oh you know I'll get the AA twelve. I like the AA twelve. Still no armor. <laughs> but tons of ammo now, so that's good. We have killed ourselves with science. We have killed ourselves with science? I mean we I don't know, this is just like a weird I mean, it's very weird, and I mean, I guess it's the horror, the horror of it. Couch. Um. And this is kind of like one of the things that I frequently find when I, I start talking to leftists is that like they will generally understand that, yes, the, the, the system that we occupy is not very good and it does lots of things poorly. It, it also harms a lot of people. Yes, that's all very true. But I often find that like um, for a lot of people I'll talk to, it's just like they'll just suggest uh, these completely nonsensical like solutions to these problems they'll, they'll they'll tell you like oh well we just have to raise the taxes on the rich or whatever it's like okay yes true i could agree with that but like to me it always seems like well yes that is a simple solution and it could do some good um in the system we are currently in short of revolution how do you actually expect to do that like we live in we live in these systems that are so defensive of people's well like to the point where they're willing to like you know step over like human rights uh, so that uh wealth can be maintained and preserved like how how exactly do you think we're going to just like How exactly do you think we're just going to, like, uh, uh, raise the tax? It's like there, there's so many little things, too, where it's like, yeah, I, I understand, like, the principle of why we would do X, Y, Z. But if we... To me, in a lot of cases, it seems like anything short of, like, revolution just wouldn't get us very far and it's like okay well then if you want to say okay well then we need to do a revolution it's like i, I think one of the things that i frequently find is that like people i i met a lot of people who are very uh interested in things like revolution but like 
when it comes down to the practicalities, they just kind of assume that you can do certain things or that you can just get away with certain things. It's like, uh, one of the things that attracts me to uh, leftist critiques of things generally more is that at least in the literature and in the higher levels of things, um, there is a uh, general acknowledgement of material conditions, which I think is not necessarily present in uh, a lot of other discussions about these things. Like, the, like if our end goal is the to change the material conditions, like on the ground for people, and then like that's that's my thing. I want people to be able to live better lives, happier lives. Um, then it would seem to me that at least for some things, you need to acknowledge what is the actual reality on the ground. For instance, like oh, what the heck? No, I'm back here. I wish to kill you. You as well. Those things always have so much health. Flesh pounds love having health. It's their favorite thing to do. Uh, but it's also like, okay, well, you, on some level, you gotta acknowledge, like, it's it's not as simple as well as always, like, voting. Like, it's not just voting, because, like, the way, especially in the United States, like, the system works, there is so much vested interest in, um, not, like, for instance, like, improving people's wages. There's so much vested interest in, like, not really providing housing and, like, doing these other things, right? But it's also not just that. It's it's also that these issues tend to be way more complicated. And, like, a, a simple solution of just, for instance, just give people houses doesn't necessarily work if, like, okay, well, let's, let's say that everybody has a house. Okay, so there's just like a, a number of houses for everybody. One of the easiest things that kind of pokes a hole in just giving everybody a house is like the idea of, okay, well, what if somebody wants to move? What if somebody wants to move to a new, a new city? What if someone wants to, you know, go somewhere where there isn't a house that's currently available? And, well, how does that work? Do we just force somebody to... I mean, and, and a lot of this, you know, it, it depends on how exactly you think giving everybody a house would actually work. I mean, because just providing... I did take it down hard. Thank you for noticing. I'll be on you in a tick. <laughs> but, um... You know, like, that that's the kind of stuff that you got to consider when you start talking about uh, giving housing to people. Like, there's, there's, I guess my main point with all of this is just that uh, I, I watch a decent amount of bread tubers occasionally, and I find that a lot of their criticisms of, like, larger capitalist systems and the way capitalism, like, makes us interact and live in the world are often very valid and good, or at least, you know things I think have good points, but then it's like when you get to ma ma the material reality with a lot of them, it kind of starts to seem like it just starts to get more and more into this process of like nobody really seems like every, everybody just starts talking in like fantasy land. They start talking in like uh, like this this whole thing of like, oh, well, no, because I read this textbook and it said X, Y, Z, or like some guy from like 300 years ago or two, well, 200 years ago said, um, oh, well, it would work perfectly fine. And this is, was his idea. And it's like, it's some philosopher who's has no understanding of economics, just kind of starts talking to you. It's like, well, I, I understand, like, 
why you would want certain things to happen like that but like if if the material reality is simply that that just doesn't work then you kind of have to consider your options and you got to you got to consider like what is 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 this even like a really good solution or do we need to change to get oh my gosh the z time when i'm reloading is terrible like what what are we and, and you know another thing i i frequently find is that like when i'll have discussions with people it's like okay what is the end goal here if the end goal is to reduce suffering and to make conditions better for people on the ground then it, it also seems to me that in a lot of cases uh what we have is that people will discuss theory and they'll discuss ideas but they won't actually have any understanding of what's going on on the ground they, they won't have any understanding of what, what do people actually want and why do they want what they want what are the conditions that are leading people to want what they want and it's just like oh man little well, like man what if we just what if we just suddenly had this or it's like okay cool it's like well yeah i can make up unrealistic fantasy stuff too i can say what if we just suddenly all had exploding parts that made it so that uh our health like like you would feel bad for just like 10 seconds and then like you fart and then all your health conditions are just gone It's all very okay. Um, and that, and that's kind of like one of the things in in a lot of these cases where it's just like, or then I'll talk to someone who's like a a capitalist or, you know. someone who will say something like well you know if we do more social programs that means we're gonna have to do more taxes and do you really want to pay for all these taxes it's like well i mean there's like a billion different ways to like there's a billion different ways to move money around and have it so that like certain budgets are just reduced and that reduced in one area and then brought back about in another to make better uh, to just like move budgets around to make them more efficient for like our goals here it's like uh, well yeah they're gonna increase your taxes like well you know like a little bit of increased taxes if I actually get like social services and things if I actually get like uh you know, better social services. That's true, but I want to shoot people. We good. Here we go. Well, there's one, there's another one. You guys start dealing with that one. I'm going to, I'm going to back up over to slightly over here. I like extra money. You know, there's also uh, some interesting things where, like, 
A lot of people, I think, kind of become almost like puritanical in their like ideological devotions, where they'll start talking about like, like, like you could say, well, you know, there are certain things that the free market can handle and do well, and then they'll, they'll just start sc fucking screaming at you, basically, just. Wee! It's like, well, so you're implying that we should engage in communism without any like, what, like, like no market? No market at all? And then, you know, it's like, you could get into criticisms of planned economies, for instance, or you could get into... I I, I think um, a good criticism of communism is as like the representation of living in small communes without a centralized government could simply boil down to, well, to live in a modern society with the modern benefits and medicine and things like that, uh, that we have now... Like you would kind, you kind of need to like. You know, I'm just gonna. I've never tried this before. This could be bad, but we'll see. I didn't get very much shockwave ammo for it. Oh, whatever. It's fine. There we go. Oh, another King Flesh Pound. You have no dick, and it has made you angry! You know, like, um... But that that is kind of one of the interesting things to consider when one starts talking about, like, So let's see. Like, um, Oh no! The, the lady is dead! <laughs> Not again! I am just gonna throw a bunch of grenades in your general direction. Okay, I need to reload this shocky thing. Oh my goodness. Yay, we did it. <laughs> that was kind of an interesting. It seemed like it was doing a lot of damage, which is kind of cool, I guess. But, um... <laughs> no, I was the enforcer. I killed a bunch of large Zets, and I think I got boss. Wait, did I get boss killed? I did. That's cool. But that just means that you get, like, the last shot. But yeah. I don't know, that's just a bunch of thoughts I was having about, like, various different things. When you're analyzing economics and like leftism and things like that, so I think we should all consider if we want to start talking about like solutions and things like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed listening to me babble about various different things and having a gun. And I love you, and God loves you, and bye bye. I love you, bye bye. Love you, bye. Bye. Love you, bye.